Hello guys, welcome to my cozy and productive night routine. I feel like there's something special about winding down and getting all comfy and relaxed in your home, especially this time of the year. So today I'm going to be walking you through my routine to unwind before bedtime. So first things first, let's set the ambiance. I just came back from a flower run just to make the whole experience more aesthetically pleasing because I find that romanticizing our routines often leads to greater joy and peace, making it easier to develop healthy habits. So along with my little floral arrangements, I'm also lighting some candles as you can see. Now I'm going to close our roller shades. I feel like this instantly makes the apartment feel cozier and I just love it. Hey guys, so now that I have the ambiance set and ready to go for our night routine, I am going to have some dinner. I'm going to be having some yummy protein pasta that we meal prepped yesterday. So we do try to meal prep every week just to stay on top of our fitness goals and to make our lives easier during the week. I will say though that this does take some effort and time um, on weekends if you want to meal prep, but it is definitely worth it. You don't have to worry about cooking. After I finish dinner, I like to immediately do a quick kitchen cleaning just so that I don't have to worry about it the next day and because I feel like I can't relax until everything is nice and tidy in the apartment. I do a similar routine in the morning after I have breakfast just to make things easier for myself and so that I'm not cleaning one huge mess at the end of the day.
After that, I go ahead and change into my pajamas to get more comfy. Today I'm going with this cute pink long sleeve satin set from Boohoo. all comfy in my pajamas. I like to get into my skincare routine. I like to pamper my skin a little more during the fall and winter seasons because my skin tends to get a little more dry. So I am going to be doing a little mask today which you guys will see in a second. So this routine is definitely a must to keep my skin healthy and glowing. These are the products I will be using tonight. I'm going to start off by cleansing my face with the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. Now I'm going in with this retexturizing mask with Rose Clay by Origins. I don't always do a mask, but like I said, I like to pamper myself during this time. So I'll do a mask like this once or twice a week. While I wait, I'm just brainstorming some ideas for future videos and doing my favorite, a quick Pinterest scroll. Back in the bathroom, so now I'm going to wash off the clay mask. Once my face is nice and dry, I go in with this Ordinary Retinoid that I've been using for about a year and I feel like it really helps with keeping my face really smooth. And I like to really massage my face while I put the product in. So kind of like wash up but with my hands. Next, I'm using the Hyaluronic Acid by The Ordinary as well. So just rubbing it in the same way here and I really feel like this makes my skin feel so good and really gets my circulation going. Then I go in with my prescribed eye cream for my dermatitis which I also use in the morning. Some Vaseline for my lips to keep them nice and smooth. And lastly, this Aesop hand cream that has been a life changer for me. It keeps my hands really smooth and hydrated. And I love the way it smells, so I'm just putting the excess on my shoulders. Once I take off my headband, I do a quick little loose bun. Once I'm nice and refreshed, I like to go back into the living room to have a snack while I watch something. Here's my husband reaching the popcorn container for me because I'm too short. I ended up watching this old movie called A Rainy Day in New York, which I had never watched. And it was actually pretty good. But yeah, let me know what movies or shows you guys are watching during this cozy season. I would love to hear. After the movie ended, I shut off all devices and made myself a bedtime tea, which I will be enjoying while I read. I'm currently reading this book called The Nine Rooms of Happiness in which the author uses the analogy of a house to examine life. Pretty interesting so far and provides a lot of useful advice. So recently, I've really been enjoying taking some moments at night to do some gratitude journaling. This one has some prompts inside and it's just been a wonderful way to reflect on the day and all the things I'm thankful for. Once I'm done with that, I go back into the bathroom and start my oral hygiene routine.
and there you have it guys my cozy fall night routine i hope that you guys enjoy of course not all nights look like this but for the most part i try to do most of these little prep activities that can help me unwind and just get to bed earlier. I have been trying to do earlier workouts at 5 a.m. So I've been on a journey to sleeping earlier. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe got some inspo to create your own little nighttime routine. Good night, buenas noches.